Hi everyone, welcome to Wedra Studio. Today, we are going to talk about turquoise. So now let's get straight to it. Turquoise is a copper aluminium phosphate with a striking blue-green color appearance. It has a waxy or glassy luster and is known for its semi-translucent to opaque nature. The name turquoise was derived from the French word Pierre Turks, which means Turkish stone, as it was historically brought to Europe from Turkish mines. Did you know that the mining of turquoise dates back to 6000 BC in Egypt? It was highly valued and used extensively in jewelry, amulets, and burial artifacts, including the famous burial mask of Pharaoh Tutankhamun. In the ancient Persian kingdom, the sky-blue gemstones were worn round the neck or wrist as protection against unnatural death. If they changed color, it signaled the approach of doom. In ancient China, the mineral was ground into a powder and mixed with glazes to create turquoise-colored pottery and porcelain. These ceramics were especially popular during the Ming Dynasty. Turquoise holds great significance in Native American cultures, particularly among the Navajo, Hopi, and Pueblo tribes. It was believed to bring protection and used in various ceremonies. The Aztecs thought the sun was made of turquoise. They cherished turquoise for its protective power and used it on knives, shields, and ceremonial masks, such as the mask of Xutacutli. The disk of Chichen Itza is a Mayan artwork found in the throne seat of Chakmula Chichen Itza about 1,000 years ago. The solar disk was made of mosaic with turquoise and shell, with a central pyrite mirror. In nature, turquoise is formed as a secondary mineral in copper-rich areas, often in arid and semi-arid regions. Some of the notable areas include the southwestern United States, China, Iran, and Mexico. While turquoise is typically known for its blue to greenish-blue color, it can vary widely in hue. It ranges from sky blue to pale green and even yellowish green, due to the presence of copper and iron. Did you know that some turquoise contains inclusions that appear as black or brown spider webbing or patches within the stone? They are known as matrix, the remaining of host rock material during the replacement process. Different regions have their own distinct types of turquoise, with specific colors and matrix patterns. Some famous types include Arizona turquoise, Persian turquoise, and Chinese turquoise. Another feature of turquoise is its porous composition, which allows it to change color when exposed to light, air, and oils from skin over time. They are often treated with wax for better stability. Turquoise is a relatively soft mineral, ranking 5 to 6 on the Mohs scale of hardness, which makes it important to handle with care when used in jewelry. Due to its relatively low hardness, turquoise is not used in heavy industrial applications. Instead, it is valued for its beauty and cultural significance as a decorative or ornamental material. Turquoise is most commonly used in jewelry. As one of the birthstones for the month of December, turquoise is believed to bring good fortune and protection to those born in this month. Turquoise is cut and polished into various shapes to make rings, necklaces, earrings, bracelets, and pendants. Its vibrant color can be set in various metals, including gold and silver. Turquoise is used by artists to create decorative pieces, carvings, and sculptures. It can be incorporated into paintings, mosaics, and art to add a unique and vibrant touch. In Tibetan Buddhism, turquoise is considered a sacred stone. It is used in religious objects and jewelry to enhance spiritual connections. Some people believe turquoise has metaphysical and alternative healing properties. They are used in crystal and energy therapies to promote balance and well-being. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.